Welcome to Past Us. Today we'll talk about top 8 actors died from Dirty Dancing. Dirty Dancing is a 1987 American romantic drama dance film written by Eleanor Bergstein, produced by Linda Gottlieb, and directed by Emile Ardolino. Dirty Dancing, a coming of age story, was a low budget film that was intended to be shown in theaters for one week and only and then be released on video, but it became a surprise hit and achieved an enormous international success. Many cast and actors from this romantic drama dance film sadly died. Here's the list of top actors died from Dirty Dancing. But before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 8. Gary Goodrow Gary Goodrow was born on November 4, 1933 in Malone, New York, USA as Gary George Goodrow. He was an actor and writer known for Escape from Alcatraz 1979, Dirty Dancing 1987, and Honey, I Blew Up the Kid 1992. On Dirty Dancing, he played the role as Mo Pressman. Mo Pressman is the husband of Bungalow Bunny, Vivian Pressman. There's a scene where Mo is playing cards and he offers Johnny Castle money to give Vivian a dancing lesson. In that scene, Johnny gives Mo a pirate hat. In the final scene, Mo is wearing the same pirate hat. Goodrow died on July 22, 2014, aged 80, in Jersey City, NJ. He survived by his son Jason and a daughter Georgia. Number 7. Alvin Mirovich Alvin Mirovich was born on December 11, 1906. Mr. Mirovich was professor of music and violin at Youngstown State University from 1931 to 1963, then lived for the next 21 years in Pikesville. He was an actor known for Dirty Dancing 1987 and Avalon 1990. Alvin Mirovich played Sidney Schumacher in the movie Dirty Dancing. The two characters, Sidney and Sylvia Schumacher, are in the movie Dirty Dancing because someone had to steal Mo Pressman's wallet, causing Johnny Castle to be blamed and fired. He died of heart failure at a retirement home in Manchester Township, NJ. He was 89. Number 6. Honey Coles Charles Honey Coles was an American actor and tap dancer. Coles worked as the stage manager at the Apollo's Theater for 16 years. In the 70s, he oversaw the revival of tap dance spearheaded by Brenda Buffalino and other women tappers. He continued performing solo roles throughout the 1980s on Broadway and in films like The Cotton Club 1984 and Dirty Dancing 1987. He was best known for his role as Tito Suarez in the film Dirty Dancing. Coles made his Broadway debut in Gentlemen Prefer Blondes in 1949. He also appeared in Public Brown Sugar and My One and Only, for which he received both the Tony and Drama Desk Award for his performance. He died of cancer on November 12, 1992, at 81. Number 5. Jennifer Stahl Best known for her dance moves in the 1987 movie Dirty Dancing, other credits include Necropolis, Firehouse, Identity Crisis. She hoped that her bit part in the 1980s hit movie Dirty Dancing would launch her career. Her movie career highlight had been as a featured dancer in Dirty Dancing, but that 1987 film success had not done much for Jennifer Stahl. The closest she came to fame was by renting a tired apartment five stories above the Carnage Delicatessen in Midtown, where tourists come to eat pastrami and marvel at the framed photographs of celebrities that hang on the walls. She died on May the 10th, 2001, at the age of 39. Number 4. Jack Weston so it all seems to be ending. In a 40-year career that spanned Broadway, television, and movies, the versatile actor played everyone from sleazy villains to terrifying killers to clumsy comics. His bad guy roles included a stalker who, along with Alan Arkin, terrorized a blind Audrey Hepburn in the 1967 cult classic Wait Until Dark 1967. He appeared in much lighter roles in Cactus Flower 1969, Please Don't Eat the Daisies 1960, and Dirty Dancing 1987. He played the character of Max Kellerman in the movie Dirty Dancing. In the movie, he's a friend of Dr. Hausman's and the owner of the resort where all of the romance, drama, and dancing goes down. Jack Weston died from lymphoma on May 3, 1996. After a six-year struggle, he was 71 years old. Number 3. Max Cantor And I wanted to thank you for your help with the penny situation. Max Cantor was born in Manhattan, New York City, New York, USA, as Michael Cantor. He was an actor known for Dirty Dancing 1987, Fear, Anxiety, and Depression 1989, and Legwork 1987. He played the character of Robbie Gould in Dirty Dancing, Cantor played womanizer Robbie Gould, who dates baby sister Lisa and impregnates Penny. After Dirty Dancing, he appeared in Fear, Anxiety, and Depression. The actor died of a drug overdose in 1991 at the age of 32 in New York City. Number 2. 
Jerry Obark. I'm not sure who you are, but I don't want you to have anything to do with those people again. Jerome Bernard Obark was an American actor and singer described at the time of his death as one of the last bona fide leading men of the Broadway musical and global celebrity on television and a versatile stage and film actor. Orbach's professional career began on the New York stage, both on and off Broadway, where he created roles such as El Gallo in the original off Broadway run of The Fantastics, 1960, and became the first performer to sing that show's standard. Try to remember, he played the character of Dr. Jake Hausman in Dirty Dancing. Jake is very affluent in his profession as a doctor, but as such, his upper class status dictates to him to look condescendingly upon the lower classes, particularly the working class. He died of prostate cancer on December 28, 2004. Number 1. Patrick Wayne Swayze Baby, I don't see you running up to daddy telling him I'm your guy. Well, with my father, it's... Patrick Wayne Swayze was an American actor, dancer, and singer-songwriter. Having gained fame with appearances in films during the 1980s, Swayze became popular for playing tough guys and romantic lead males, gaining him a wide fan base with female audiences and status as a teen idol and sex symbol. During his career, he received three Golden Globe Award nominations and was named by People magazine as its Sexiest Man Alive in 1991. He was awarded posthumously the Rolex Dance Award in 2009. Swayze's breakthrough role came with his performance as a dance instructor Johnny Castle in the film Dirty Dancing 1987 alongside his Red Dawn co-star Jennifer Grey. After Dirty Dancing, Swayze found himself in great acting demand and appeared in several films, including Roadhouse 1989. His biggest role came when he starred in Ghost 1990 with Demi Moore and Whoopi Goldberg. Swayze died with family at his side on September 14, 2009, aged 57. Swayze's passing occurred 20 months after his cancer diagnosis. Thank you for watching. If you liked our video, then hit the subscribe button to never miss out on any of our videos. See you next time.